All right, and as Jason was just talking about there locally, the biggest concern is the amount of rain we might see from this and how bad the surf is going to get. Yeah, we continue our night beat team coverage in Gulf Shores with our Tyler Finger. Tyler, I can hear it. The water is rough. Yeah, it is Lenise and Byron. The white caps that you're seeing out on the surf earlier today, just a small sign of the danger on the water. Rip current risks are very high along the entire Alabama coast, and that's why the water is closed here in Baldwin County, and the double red flags are flying here in Gulf Shores. Tonight along the Baldwin coast. The crashing waves dangerous it's like upside down from what it was yesterday. Taylor Darnell is vacationing with her family. Her four and a half year old son stuck in the sand instead of splashing around in the water. He struggled when first got here not being able to get in the water. He thinks that he can just hold on tight and get in, but he doesn't quite understand that he can be pulled out really quickly. Conditions have worsened over the last day. Today's five to six foot surf is expected to double in size by tomorrow afternoon. It's powerful. Yeah. It's like if you're walking along, you think you're okay, and then all of a sudden you get splashed up to your ankles. While the beaches are open in Baldwin County, the Gulf waters are closed. Lifeguards are asking people to stay out of the water for their safety, but some people aren't following through with that. I've seen a few people, they stay right here in the front, but still, it's unpredictable. Many vacations are heeding the warning and staying safe. Some even cutting vacation plans short. It looks really deadly today. I mean, just compared to what it was yesterday and the day before. I mean, it, we thought it had picked up some yesterday from the first day we got here, but there's nothing compared to this. Here in Gulf Shores, when those double red flags are flying, it is illegal to get into the water. If you do, you could be arrested or face a $500 fine. We're live in Gulf Shores tonight. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.